Hello, welcome to a video tutorial on setting up and accessing JupyterHub for your first year laboratories. The first thing you want to do is go to your search bar on Google or whatever your search engine is and type in my Glasgow login. Then you want to select the first, the first link. This will take you to the Glasgow homepage. Scroll down until you find the login button. Click on that and select U of G email address. Then what you want to do is sign in using your Glasgow University email address. This contains your GUID at the start of it. And then it's at student.gla.ac.uk. Then enter the password for your GUID that you've set up. Next, as you've set up the Authenticator app, you'll need to go onto your phone and enter the number that's shown. Then you'll need to authorize it with your thumbprint as well. You'll want to stay signed in as you'll be logging in many, many times. Now, select the Physics 1 Labs Moodle. If it's not on your starred page, just go into Moodle and select it on there. Once you're on it, scroll down to Jupyter Lab and click on that link. Now click on the web address link and it will take you to the login. Here, you're going to use just your GUID to log in. However, the final letter, make sure it's not a capital and is in fact lowercase. If it's not, then you will not be able to log in, so ensure it is lowercase. This is a very common problem and people ask about it all the time. This is what you'll see when you log into Jupyter. On your right are all your notebooks. We just use the default one. This is what a default notebook looks like. It will appear on the left hand side in the file section. You can rename it by right clicking and just typing in your new name. For example, example notebook. On the right hand side, this is what we call a cell. You'll be using this area mostly, as well as the area on the left for your file management. You'll also be using the area at the top to switch between notebooks during your labs. For example, if you have multiple open or if you want to check code from your previous sessions. In a cell, you can execute a cell. Um, this will all be covered in the Jupyter intro video. You can type in any bit of Python code. This is just examples, but we'll cover this in the next video. This button here is for making new folders. I suggest that you have good file management as you will have a lot of scripts throughout your first year and throughout university as well. So good file management is key. Thanks for watching.